This is another quicker than a quick recipe. It takes about six to eight minutes to cook and is completely gluten free. This is the Thai version of the Coco Tam curry that I have shared earlier on my channel. For this, uh, in the heated oil, we put some sesame seeds and add some Thai curry paste. You can use a uh, red curry paste, green curry paste or yellow curry paste. You get them easily off the shelf. Uh, thai curry paste have special ingredients like galangal, so it gives a very distinct flavor. So once you've put the Thai curry paste, you can add coconut milk to it and let the Thai curry paste mingle in really well with the coconut milk. Uh, once you add uh, coconut milk, you can keep stirring uh, it along with the paste and then add thawed vegetables. I am using uh, frozen vegetables here. This is the stir fry blend which has um, baby corn, uh, carrot, uh, beans, uh, snow peas. So this is uh, this comes out really well. It is nice and colorful and quite nutritious. This is a very easy uh, recipe. Once you have put the vegetables, you don't even need to add salt because Thai curry paste usually have salt in it. So we'll cover the lid for about uh, two to three minutes. And uh, here you go. Uh, the curry is ready. You can have it as a soup with rice, uh, with the roti, with naan. Um, this uh, is one of the most easiest recipes I can share with you. Enjoy and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, 4 Steps or Less.